settle down. Be quiet. Okay, so um, you guys received notes from Sir regarding our uh, um, electricity, right? Um, so on your note, we this we did current, we did the relationship between relationship between current and voltage, which is known referred to as the yes the Ohm's law, right? So now we're going to talk about resistance. Right? It's also part of it's also part of the notes that Sir already gave you guys, right? But I will be adding more notes, right, on the board. So you guys will have to write the notes in your notebook, right? So please do, and so uh, and I will check the notebook before you guys leave the class, right? So today's topic is about resistance, right? But before we start with the resistance, right, let's just do a quick recap on what is current. Hmm? Who knows the answer to what? What is current? Yes. yes. Exactly. So we talked about current, right, as the the flow of electrical charge, right? So just for you guys to remember, current is the the flow of electrical of electrical charge electrical charge okay so in today's today's topic we're going to focus on resistance right idea what resistance is <laughs> something that resists okay it's not a bad answer it's just that it could you could add more right okay so the objective of today's lesson you, you need to be able to know and understand The concept of resistance. Okay? So the definition for resistance. Yes, please write down the notes. Okay. Yes, an ammeter is used to measure current. Measure current. Okay? And always remember what current is. Right? The second diagram, this is figure one. This is figure two. The second diagram is different in terms of it, it contains an iron bar. Right? This iron bar is going to act as our resistor, right? It's going to cause resistance, right? Okay. So these are batteries that are, added, that are both displayed into a circuit, right? So the battery is connected at the ends. These are the ends. Also known as, sorry, the terminals. Terminals. And they are connected with a wire which forms an 
electric circuit will charge will flow through this circuit okay are we all together so far understand okay Mm -hmm. And yeah, exactly. Uh, that electrical current uh, is measured by an ammeter, right? Which is in a value of amperes, right? So the value of an ammeter is amperes. And this is how you write it amperes, right? Remember, we also talked about voltage, right? So as we go through the topic electricity in general, eh? Make sure you, whenever you go home, you recap on your notes because one topic, you, the previous topic, we 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 will we'll, we'll be like a foundation, right, for the next next topic that you will focus on. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. Please continue writing. Don't talk. It needs to come off. It needs to come from a high point to a low point, right? So in this case here, the battery, right, contains electricity, right? Charge, right? Right? So it will flow from this point to that point, right? This ammeter, this instrument, right? An ammeter, right? This is an ammeter. This instrument here is placed inside the circuit to measure the current, right? It's just measuring the flow, the flow of the electrical charge. We're together, right? So, this is exactly the same, just as in this case, an iron bias is introduced. That's what I just mentioned, right? When charge flows through this second circuit, we will see the ammeter reading a smaller current than the ammeter in the first circuit. So let's say for instance, the ammeter in this first figure one um, indicated, uh, let's say it's uh, six amperes, amperes, right? right? The ammeter in the second diagram, that second figure will be less. It will be, for example, two amperes, right? So that's what I'm saying. Um, this one, the iron bar, the iron bar that is introduced into the circuit will be, unfortunately, will act as a resistance. Will act, will cause resistance, right? It acts now as a resistor, right? Will act as a resistor. Together, right? In other words, there is something about this iron that, that decreases the current in the circuit. Are we all together? Okay, let's move on. Why am I seeing this paper? This paper should be already uh, pasted in your notebook, guys. Right? You guys are having it loose. Paste it in your notebooks. Okay. Okay. Any material or components in an electrical circuit that makes it harder for charge to flow has resistance. Are we together? So anything that, that is introduced into a circuit that then causes the decreases the current to flow will act as a resistor. And any and most and any material that is introduced into a circuit will will um will cause will act as a resistor. Okay. In fact, there are certain components in electrical circuits that are designed to provide resistance. These are called resistors right and in the iron our iron body is a very good example of a resistor but then the thing is um when it comes to resist uh, resistors right they're not always a bad thing right sometimes they are placed there in order for for the charge to for the charge to not to not over not, not, i wouldn't say overflow so the charge does not you know doesn't flow it just it limits, right? Okay, um, let's, let me give you guys an example. You know when you're charging your phones, 
right? Uh, who has an iPhone? Who has a smartphone? Okay, so when you're charging your phone, said in, in most cases when you're having an iPhone, um, when it reaches um, 80%, right? It, 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 informs, it informs you that the phone needs to call out, right? So your, your phone also has like a resistance, a resistor inside, built-in resistor that prevents your phone from blasting. Because if electricity keeps on going, it will become too much, right? So that's why your phone says, your phone uh, has stopped charging, removed from the charger, so it cools down, right? So it's also like basically your phone has a resistor for it now, you know, not to over, over, overheat and so forth together. Okay. Okay, let's continue. A resistor decreases the flow of charge, right? And as electric... Charge slowly passes to a circuit. Another thing that happens in the resistor, the resistor itself. Okay, continue writing, guys. Occupants are finishing. Can you guys see? Is it better? Right? But then in this case, this one to, to, to take a while, 
pull it together because the distance is long. Right, right. Yes. So always keep that in mind. The shorter the bar, the less resistance. Right? The longer the bar, the greater the resistance. So the longer the bar, longer bar is equals to greater, greater the resistance. Yes. Greater the resistance, right? This is what you mean that um, they are directly proportional. Yes, it's right. It's together. Directly proportional. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, let's let's move on. Okay. So let's talk about factors affecting resistance, right? For a um Different factors, right, affect resistance, right? So, are we, are we done copying this? Okay, because now I don't have to this. Yeah, okay, we'll go here. Will you guys just continue here? Huh? I'll continue here, but then I'll move this side because maybe some of you get to start breaking. I want to just a piece. Okay, so factors. Okay, so length. The longer the conductor, the greater the resistance, right? This is what we just basically touch on here, right? Longer, the longer the bar, the greater the resistance. So the longer the conductor, which in this case is the iron bar, the greater the resistance. This is because there are more atoms for the um, electrons to collide with. Okay. Another factor is the cross section area. area it says the greater the cross section area of a conductor the lower the resistance this is because there is more space for electrons to move right and that okay i'll write down the notes now yeah? another one is temperature right the higher the temperature of the conductor the greater the resistance right again cross section when we talk about cross section we're talking about the the width of, a, of the conductor so this case, ugh, okay. this, this is our iron bar, right? right? And then this is another iron bar. Right? You see, they are worth, maybe it's the same length, okay? Let's make it the same length. Okay. Let's make it the same length, right? Yeah, the same length. Not to match guys now. So this is the same length, right? But the cross area, this one is much smaller than this one, right? So the greater the cross section of the conductor, this is greater, the lower the resistance, right? Because it's, yeah, it's the lower resistance. This is because there is more space for electrons to move. Mm -hmm. So because there are, you know, more space, right? Well, this one's a tight effect together. So it will be easier to pass through this one. Right? Temperature. The higher the temperature of the conductor, the greater the resistance. Right? Questions so far? Okay, guys, we'll continue this tomorrow, but I'll just write down the the rest of the cross factor 
I'll move you from this table and then you guys can just go through, right? And then on the note that is given, right? There's, there's uh, ex an exercise that you, you need to, to do here, right? It's um, from exercise, it's, it's just three questions. Exercise um, number one, number two, number three. The first one is basically which of these conductor causes greater resistance, right? So this is something that you guys will have to talk about. But your notes, right, has the, um, has the factors that influence resistance. It's basically this, right? So I don't think you guys, you don't have to write this part, right? Because your notes contain those notes already. Right? So just highlight them, right, and go through them, right. So these are the factors that are affecting resistance. They are in your notes, guys. I gave you guys have this paper. Who doesn't have this paper? Oh, where were you? Okay, I will, I will make a copy for you and then I'll give it to you. So this, yes, this is the resistance, right? The factors affecting resistance. And then this exercise, I want you guys to do the exercise now, right? And then we can go through it, and then I can give you guys homework. Okay? Okay. So let's just do that. Okay. Thank you.